Hello everyone, it's Tyler, and welcome back to episode 2 of my redstone tutorial. And today we're going to give a brief lesson on binary and encoders, because uh, I can't exactly explain a decoder, so I'm going to leave that to YouTube and uh, or other videos on YouTube and people uh, from servers and such, because uh, that's where I learned it. So should be, it, sh it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to learn it, but since I can make a pretty good video on this, I'll explain it. Binary is basically just a system of zeros and ones. And in redstone, let's let's make a little example here. An off torch represents a one, and an on torch represents a zero. Uh, this is obviously interchangeable uh, depending on what project you're working on. But for the sake of this, uh, these four outputs will uh, on on torch will represent a zero, off torch will represent a one. So, uh, if you watched the previous video, uh, I have the tileable RS Norlatch array set up here with a reset bit already up. So I color took the liberty of color coordinating, uh, color coordinating everything. Here's the input for the reset bit. There, the gray is just the Norlatches, and the gay, pinkish, purple color is the reset. Um, now here's the encoder. Basically what it is, is you have these four yellow lines on the bottom here. And each of the four yellow lines represents a binary bit. And binary bits go up uh, doubling in size as each one. So it goes 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 612, uh, 12, 48, 4, 24, 96. I've probably multiplied wrong somewhere in there, but who the hell cares? You get the idea. It doubles every time. So. In a 4-bit binary encoder, uh, we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. It's very simple, and uh, it can total up to 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, and plus 1 is 15. So there are 15 different combinations that you can make with this encoder. And technically, I don't I don't need this uh, these yellow parts back here, but I put them in just, just for the sake of making it less confusing. So... Here is the one line right here, this line that you're looking at right here. This is the one line, this is the two line, this is the four line, and then this is the eight line. So, uh, as you can see, each bit is twice the size of the last bit, so it's one, two, four, and then eight, finally. I think it's eight, yeah, it's eight. And it'll go on and on like that. So, with the first bit, it's only one, so you can have the... Uh, Here's our, uh, alright, hold on, let me, let me start over here. Here we have, I should have put signs above here, but this will be 1, and then this one will be 2, and so on and so forth. It'll just go all the way down to 15. And then, of course, the reset bit. So, let's say I want to activate, let's just do 1 for now. So, I press the RS Norlatch for 1, it activates 1, it turns off this blue, uh, I should have made this part a different color, but, um, here, this is just a vertical, vertical, uh, what you call it, <laughs> a vertical, um, oh my gosh, I can't even remember, a vertical inverter, <laughs> wow, that's, uh, quite the fail there, alright, let me just, uh, I'm gonna make it a different color, just for the sake of making it all easy, just to show that it's not part of the actual encoder. Alright, so uh, it toggles the vertical, <coughs> the vertical inverter, and it will turn the line above the torch off, allowing the torch to go on and activate its binary ID. And the binary ID for one is just one. So it'll keep going down the line, or actually, in a four-bit binary system, I'm sorry, it would be zero 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 one. Now. This line here, this second line, represents two. So if I want to say, if I want to do two, I just activate that line. So hold on, replace three five three five colon. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah. So the red is just the vertical inverters. Okay. So. I want to say 2, I just activate binary position 2. So now I want to say 3. So now 
uh, all the all the binary addresses here they they can add up to so you can get your number that's how you get your combinations so uh, I want to make three I don't need eight and four because they're bigger than three so I have zero zero and then add together binary bit two and one to get three and then so on and so forth now this is the third bit so it's one two and the third bit is four so all I have to do is put a torch there and then uh, here now I want to make five. I add together uh, four and one. Now six, four, and two. Uh, now I want seven, four, two, one. And now I finally need the last bit. So I have eight just on the bit. Uh, nine, eight, and one. <clears throat> and then it just goes on. Here we have eight and two, eight, two, one. 8-4, to get 15. Yeah, moo to you too, cow. <laughs> so, as you can see, we pressed the RS and latch for 1 before, so 1 is activated. Uh, now let's reset the latches with our orange reset bit. And, I hope it reset it. Reset, yeah. Yeah, it looks fine. So now let's activate whatever, since these don't have signs, let's just activate a random number, like this one. Okay, so we have the, the fourth bit, which represents 8 activated, and we have the first bit, which represents 1 activated. 8 and 1 is 9, and there you go. So, uh, I hope this helped you a lot. If you have any questions, um, just put them in the comment section. And here, this encode, this encoder, this is, uh, like, okay, so, say you're on a server, and I'm just trying to give some examples of where this might be useful. Say you're on a server with a bunch of people who have never, never played with Redstone ever, say, like, Puego server, and they don't know what binary is. Or, well, most of the people on Puego server don't know much Redstone. I actually have Redstone school there, but let's not go into that. Um, so, they don't know what binary is. You could just make the and um, <clears throat> binary, by the way, is much easier to work with because it's, it's smaller. It basically it took 15 inputs here and put them into four outputs, makes it much easier to work with. So, say I wanted all the inputs to be in regular decimal numbers, so I would just put the signs above the buttons here, and uh, they would know what number to activate. And everything would be fine and dandy. I would hook it up to this encoder, it would transmit everything into binary, and then maybe go to like a seven segment display. Which, by the way, will be my next video. Uh, those are very easy to make. They just display numbers. And yeah. So, it's, it's very useful in other circumstances also, like, uh, I don't know. Once you, once you play around with this enough, you'll find out, find out where you need it. So, I want to thank you for watching, and my name is Tyler, and this has been Redstone for Noobs, Part 2, uh, Encoders and Binary, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace!